Hey y'all, welcome to the mountains. The mountains are calling and they are closer than you think. They are close to music, they are close to fun, they are close to fabulous Hamilton Gardens at the Georgia Mountain Fair. Now Bill Senior, you love the music of the olden days. You got something smart you want to say about the olden days? <laughs> you should know, you lived them. <laughs> That's right, I did. I did. When we look at the music and we look at all the entertainment that comes to the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds, it is amazing the people that you and I have seen. Now, our favorite groups, a lot of mine are country, but then I do love, loved having the Beach Boys, got to see them at the Georgia Mountain Fair this year. Miss Hilda has all kinds of concerts. Now, you've got tickets to somebody, the 38 <laughs> Special? Yeah, that's a Southern rock group, and I'm a Southern gospel man. Yes. But I, I like my rock and roll too, and yeah. so uh, I grew up listening to 60s, 70s, and even the late 50s, but 60s, 70s, and 80s rock and roll. So yes. I like some of those groups. And if they are around and I can go see them, I'll try sure. to go see them. Okay, explain to people the difference in going to Atlanta to a concert and coming to the mountains to Georgia <coughs> Mountain Fair. Well, the Atlanta concerts, if you go to a lot of the large arenas, there are 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. And there's about 20 million people on the road just to get there. Yes. So it's, it's a big deal. And, and you got to really plan ahead and mm -hmm. go early and all that stuff. And then, of course, crime mm -hmm. and all that. Right. But the difference up here is it's just a bunch of good, good old country folk, and they ain't going to usually bother you. Uh, they like to drink a little, you yeah. know, like some yeah. people do. But yeah. Uh, yeah. other than that, it's, uh, it's a more enjoyable atmosphere as Absolutely. far as getting there and enjoying yourself. Right. It's a smaller crowd. Too. What is it, 3,000 people, oh, yeah. 3,500 yeah, people? Yeah, 28 to 3,000. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing, and the cool thing is there are so many restaurants from Ball Ground to Turtle Town right. all the way up the road. I've got my favorites. Oh yeah, and, and one, of you, one of our favorite, we had barbecue there one day and it was so busy, so crowded, we had to wait forever, but the food was great. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing, you have a choice of your food, you have a choice of everything, and you just get to the mountains, you can, you can book a room and stay up with a view of the lake. Or the campground. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. You have so, an RV, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, the campground is one of my favorite things to do. But when we look at the Georgia Mountain Fair, it gives us an opportunity to leave the city, leave the traffic, leave the rush, and just get up there and just, whoa, just relax. And just the seating, relax. I like the seating there too. It's, it's, oh, yeah. uh, it's a good view from about anywhere in the building. Exactly. And the sound there, they have a great sound mm -hmm. man. They have a great band that opens for everybody. Yeah. And uh, it features often Tim Hamilton on the steel guitar. He's amazing. And, you know, one person who's never played there, and she certainly should, Miss Linda Autry, that we've yeah. had here on the show, her, her son-in-law, Tim Hamilton, plays still there. But when we think about the local talent, there's so much local talent that came out of these mountains, ended up in Nashville, and now ends up at Georgia Mountain Fair on the stage there. So Yeah, yeah they had a local guy from Canton, I think it was, that opened for the Beach Boys, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, it has given an opportunity. They had the Fiddler's Convention for many, many years, and that attracted people from everywhere. And uh, it's just amazing how many people have gone through the Georgia Mountain Fair. And you know, if you're coming in from Florida, you start seeing advertising for the Georgia Mountain Fair in Perry, Georgia. Yeah. They put up billboards. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. One of the local orchards, they, they advertise oh, down that far too. Yes, yes, that's right. So welcome to these mountains. It is closer than you think. One of the really cool things about coming to the mountains, and I love this being a realtor, when you come to these mountains, hook, line, and sinker, we've got you. You want to come back. Well, there's a lot of folks from Atlanta loves it up here, and a lot of folks from Florida too. Yes. I've noticed in the, yes. uh, in the uh, summertime, you see a lot of Florida license plates. Absolutely. They love it. I interviewed some people at the Georgia Mountain Fair one day who had been to They'd been 38 years in a row. Wow. Every year for 38 years. They said every year of our married life, we come to the Georgia <clears throat> Mountain Fair. And I thought that says a lot for that. Well, you know, at the Anderson Music Hall, they have some really good uh, concessions. Oh, the, the refreshments. Awesome. Yes. I love getting their ice cream yes. and their frozen yogurt. <laughs> yes, so. yes, yes. It is all about these mountains. It's all about saying, welcome to Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. Come and enjoy our lifestyle. Um, you know, they have the Christmas lights. It's a walking tour that's done very, very well. And then they have festivals all year long. They have the fall festival, the um, winter, or winter they do the Christmas lights, and then they start immediately doing concerts. But in the fall, they have the fall festival. And it is amazing. It is. You know what these mountains are like. When mm -hmm. The leaves turn. 
and y'all just run up here. They do. I used to live at 3,000 feet elevation, so I know it's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. But, uh, it's beautiful. So if you haven't been to Hiawassee, we welcome you to come to the Georgia Mountain Fair, get to know a little bit about the area, and you know, make plans to look at property while you're here. Think about buying a second home that you could use on Airbnb. Well, if you're going to a, let's say you're going to a concert on a Saturday evening, uh, leave early. If you're coming from Atlanta or wherever, Marietta, leave early and stop in Jasper, stop in uh, LJ, stop mm -hmm. in Blue Ridge, Blairsville, yep. Hiawassee yep. along the way and That's see it. all those towns. That's there's it. a lot to see there. Yeah. You'll probably like one of them. There, there's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. And the really cool thing about it is everywhere you go, somebody says, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Welcome to Georgia. Yeah. That's part of it. I think that's part of the, the great atmosphere there. And you know, the one thing, we, we have to mention this, the Georgia Mountain Fair is run by many, many volunteers. Yeah. The volunteers, year after year after year, volunteer give of their time. Towns County has been amazing to help with the Georgia Mountain Fair. It is, it is a big to-do. And we welcome you to come and visit and get to know them. And uh, if you have questions about it, they have a Facebook page. Go to Georgia Mountain Fair and uh, you can see their tickets, their ticket sales, they're easy to do. Now, out of all the groups you've seen, who's your favorite? Well, I went and saw, um, I've been there to see the Atlanta Rhythm Section. I love that. I've seen them twice. I saw Three Dog Night. I saw, uh, last year I saw the Happy Together Tour. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, and I saw, um, uh, ZZ Top there. Which oh wow! I was amazed she was able to get them because they're yes. a big. They're still big. Big deal. And that was one of my favorites too. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, when we saw the Beach Boys, I loved the idea that people older than us were just dancing in the aisles, mm -hmm. and it was really, really cool. That was really cool, and it'll probably be the last time the Beach Boys will be there. I haven't heard her say she's booked them again, because if you noticed, they're getting older, but they're <laughs> not. They're just amazing. It was amazing. It was so much yeah. fun. Well, yeah. they've, they've done that all their life. And if you're physically able to still do it and sing, yeah. I mean, it's like when we saw Tom Jones, not there, but we saw him in Atlanta. He was 79 years old at the time and could still sing. And I was like, yeah. man, I hope when I get 79, I can still sing that, that well. Yeah. So. yeah. But yeah, if you want to see some group that you like from way back mm -hmm. and you don't want to pay high ticket prices to go see them somewhere in Atlanta, which they don't usually charge high ticket prices, no. those groups don't anymore, but you can see them there at a l more reasonable price. Sure. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, and, and a better atmosphere because truly you can get out and you can walk around the lake. There's so many restaurants, there's so many vineyards on the way up. If you go through Gilmer County, we've got, mm. oh my gosh, we have some amazing properties where you can just spend the afternoon, chill, have a glass of wine, one glass of wine before you drive, no drinking and driving. And, and, and come out and get to, truly, get to know these mountains. Yeah. So, yeah. You might pick yeah. up a little moonshine along the that's, way. Too, that's right, you might, because we might preference. have a little of that too. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And you know, go over to Dawsonville. If you're coming up from Atlanta and you go 400, you can go 400 and then take the back roads and go up to Blairsville, Hiawassee mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. That's a beautiful drive. It is. That's a beautiful drive. I like going so, that way. Yeah. Yeah. My, my idea is drive slowly slow down enjoy the ride enjoy the view and just chill so let's call it chilling time yeah even if you're in the Gainesville area or coming and you want to swing up and go around through Clayton and come over the mm -hmm. 76 road there I mean Absolutely. that's a beautiful drive too yeah it's a beautiful drive so get <clears> out enjoy and uh, make sure you spend time this year at Georgia Mountain Fair bye y'all